Today we got uh, older house 1955 five point inspection and training this evening. Let's go knock it out. No, I'm joking. All right, so whenever you're walking through a property uh, that's in this kind of condition, your number one thing that you wanna do is just stay calm and fo focus on the main factors, foundation, roof, water heater, plumbing, electrical. And you just wanna go through those and try to find out if this is worth your budget or not whenever you're moving forward. So I'm gonna walk you through those five components and uh, show you what I saw. All right, so the first uh, area is uh, the water heater. Um, you can see that I have copper plumbing, so they have redone the plumbing uh, here. And then also I just went down, just looked at the condition of the tank, but my main concern right here is on the cereal. It's a, it's a 1990 or, sorry, 2001 property. And with it being 2001, uh, you're already gonna flip the house. It's already old, it's 17 years old. Just, so just go ahead and replace the tank. But the biggest thing is, is I noticed there's copper plumbing. Uh, the next thing is, is I'll drop some photos in here, but you have a FP panel box. Uh, normally, if you ever have a FP panel box, this is a defective panel box. So whenever you're putting in an offer, uh, you already are going to replace this uh, because any inspector that's gonna come in is going to automatically call this out and say it's defective, it's a defective product. But the biggest thing is when I opened it up, I didn't see any burnt wires. I didn't see uh, any splices. So whoever did this in the past uh, did a good job. So this one was a pretty hard find for me, but you could see the dirt uh, building on in this uh, damaged wood. Uh, this is termite damage. So I don't know if the video will show it very well, but you have termite, uh, you have the mud going behind the sheetrock right there. Also related to a lot of this water coming in. I didn't see any active termites, uh, but they were definitely here at one point in time. The next issue is we do have a lot of mold. Uh, this is actually coming from them not venting the dryer outside. And I'll show you on the back side of the dryer why this happened. But they're just going to need to rip all this out. So here you go. This is where the, uh, the dryer isn't venting outside. Alright, so whenever I came over here and looked at the condenser, I flipped on the thermostat. Uh, the motor seized all the way through. Uh, you have a lot of foliage on the back over here and uh, the motor, you're starting to have a lot of rust on it. Uh, this is also a, a 90, it's a, it's a 96 unit. So with it being that old, it's over 20 years old. Uh, you just need to replace it. And whenever we crawled through the attic and we saw the furnace upstairs, we got a strong gas smell. We got our gas leak detectors out, positive gas leak, but also it's an older furnace. And with it being this type of older furnace, you uh, you just want to replace it too as well if you're already planning on flipping the house. All right, the next area when it comes to termites, I know I talk about this a lot, but still it's pretty important. I expected to find termites on the side of the house. With it sitting vacant, I have all this heavy foliage behind me, and uh, with the heavy foliage, the, the brush touching the roofs, I didn't really get any activity, which I was surprised. All the activity was on the other side of the property, on the east side of the structure, thinking that I was gonna find termites, but uh, nothing. All right, so the next area, the gutter started to fail and you can see it started leaking back into the soffit area. Um, we, also, we also have uh, poor drainage over here on the corner. And uh, this has actually caused the, uh, the patio slab to upheaval over here. So let's check that out. So you can see right here, you have the poor drainage. The concrete's up about four inches over here. Same thing on this side, you have the poor drainage. It's flat. They built a lot of these houses in the 50s flat, but you can see where the, the dirt's starting to build up here. And uh, due to the patio failing, the patio roof failing, you have a lot of poor drainage over here too as well. You definitely will, uh, wanna fix all the, the, the drainage around the property. This will eventually lead to foundation movement with our post tension cables and the clay and sandy soils. All right, so one of the final things is uh, the, this, the service mast. Uh, it's tangled up, it's not high enough, it's going through trees. Uh, this is something that you definitely want to take care of. You'll lose power to the property and it's not safe. All right, uh, when it comes down to it, always stay calm whenever you approach a property like this, especially on a five-point inspection. With the five-point inspection, you just really stick to the major items. They only li they're looking at big ticket items when it comes to it. So the good thing is, is the plumbing's been replaced on this one. Uh, the, they have copper wiring, no foundation issues. Uh, so they're pretty happy. They should be happy with some of this news if they're looking at uh, flipping the property. So uh, that's Chris with the action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call and please like and subscribe to the videos. Thanks guys, bye.